All right, I do want to address a story about the Sacramento Kings who have been dealing with some controversy surrounding their former play-by-play -play announcer, Grant Napier. The team released a statement yesterday saying Napier had resigned after he tweeted, quote, all lives matter, every single one, in response to DeMarcus Cousins asking him what he thought of the Black Lives Matter movement. Napier later apologized, but a few prominent former Kings weighed in on him. Cousins replied to Napier's All Lives Matter tweet saying, LOL, as expected. Matt Barnes chimed in about Napier, quote, would expect nothing less from a closet racist. And Chris Weber, whose number four is retired in Sacramento, also added, quote, DeMarcus, we know and have known who Grant is. The team knows as well. I've told them many times, They've seen it. They know who he is. So, Chanae, I wanted your reaction to the players chiming in there that the organization has known that there were issues before. Certainly, DeMarcus seemed to know what he was doing when he sent that initial tweet. It was not just out of the blue. What do you think of all of this? This is what athletes like DeMarcus Cousins and Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson and Maya Moore and Natasha Cloud and people of color here in the United States are trying to say. So for those confused, especially those who are not people of color, please, I'm begging you, try to hear me out. Education on this is so critical. I think we can all agree that we should live in a world where all lives matter. But in reality, we do not. Why? Our country was founded on principles of freedom for all, but it did not include people of color. For over 400 years, there have been systematic ways to oppress black people. How do I compare this? Um, it's like having a basketball game where you think it's fair that you won, even though you started the game automatically up 50 points with two minutes left on the clock. Our society was created with built-in advantages for certain people that allowed our society to set the foundation for stereotypes and racial prejudices that we still feel today. Black Lives Matter is trying to simply show that the scoreboard for so long has not started at zero to zero. And people of color continue to get countless fouls that don't get called unfairly. But I think this is our time as a society for everyone to take a time out and to listen and to love and to hear. It's about a level playing field because all lives cannot matter unless black lives matter equally. I think that's what athletes and activists are really just trying to say. Janae, that's so eloquent. I think your analogy is perfect in trying to explain that to sports fans. And I would just add that you should be listening to Janae as she speaks. We should be listening to the DeMarcus Cousins and the Chris Webbers of the world for years when they speak. If they see a problem in an organization, I, I really implore this situation shows. I hope leadership listens to them more because what they have to say is so valuable.